Hey everyone, thanks for dropping by. Um, today, uh, I'll be reviewing uh, the Angelus paint kit, starter kit, that um, I ordered from angelusdirect.com. So, before I go on with the actual review and unboxing, i just like to course through you the, the process that I, I had to go through especially since I bought this product outside of the States. So I'm from the Philippines and uh, it actually took quite some time and it took quite a lot of money to go there. Um, if you want to buy the Angelus paint, you need to buy it using the, their site and it's angelusdirect.com. So once you're in the site, you just need to click on the hamburger icon there and click kits so on my end i opted to buy the kit set because you know i'm just a beginner um and i just wanted to to buy the the things that i needed because i'm planning to customize an air jordan 3 fire red um it's for another video but yep so we're in the kit section now you just need to click on this one by the way the price is 28.95 dollars so it's around let me see it's around a 1800 pesos so once you're in the in the site you just need to select uh the the items that is part of the actual kit first off it says here the sizes so that's one ounce so per bottle so that includes three bottles of the the paint so it could vary depending on what you want then you have the leather repair and the glazer uh you also have the finisher and the the how do you call this the cleaning kit you have the the water solution there you also have the brush and the paint brush that you'll use in the actual custom that you'll be doing okay so going on to the selection process there um, you can select the what type of finisher that you want uh, let me select matte because this is what I selected back then then you can just select the three types of paints that you want so to make it short um, I selected fire red flat um, flat white and flat black so so that's the pay those are the paints that I used uh, in my old build so let me just select that one because I can't go on to the next tab if if I I won't choose the required fields um, flat white fire red then lastly flat black there so Premium brush is also pre-selected. Prepare that's also pre-selected. Then this is an additional. So if you wanted to to have a finish of uh, a dollar finish, because uh, based on the videos that I found, even if the the paint is flat, there's a tendency that the the finish is also shiny. So you may want to opt with adding a dollar. So that's or an additional of four fifty. Okay, click add to cart and um there so there's a summary of the the items you selected so flat red flat white pirate sorry then the brushes and the additional kit so the total are around 33.45 so so there so once you're done selecting with your um the preferred set of paints that you want that type of acrylic finisher so on my end i selected back then the matte paint flat black flat white fire red and that also includes as part of the kit the brushes the 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 solution and the leather prepare and the glazer then the additional dollar that i added because i wanted the paint to be a little bit on the the matte side because i, I found some videos that they didn't use the dollar and the the paint finish turned out a little bit shinier than what was preferred uh, so yeah so once and that total to around 33 dollars and um since i've been I'm based from the philippines the shipping fee is around 34.62 so it's actually quite funny to see the actual shipping cost to be the same amount as the item that i purchased but uh yeah I, I really wanted to try because based on i was trying to search on the local sites here in the philippines i was only um i was i was seeing ex insane prices if i buy it locally here so yeah um buying it this one here even in this uh, in this shipping fee cost uh, it was still uh, a solid buy for me and there 
so shipping details there and um so this was august 30 and uh, the product just arrived today and today is september 17 so yeah um it took around 17 days for it to be processed but um just a quick gig quick takeaways on my purchase experience is that number one um since the the order had to to be shipped using plane the the prepared glazer was not included in the package because it contains acetone so i actually um note um found on the disclaimers that um for any shipping that includes air freight um they can't um include the sprays type of um spray type of paints because um it's it's a fire hazard so uh, i already knew that but i didn't thought that the acetone will not be included as well so um once the after the order got processed around two days after placing it on august 30 um angelus emailed me um sending me a refund um on the uh, leather preparing the glazer so that's one that's off the list in this pack on the package right now and um yep and one and once it got here in the philippines um, FedEx, um, as part of their typical process, they also have a different set of payments and process that you have to go through. So, so there. So after completing my order last August 30, um, Angelus was able to forward it to the shipper, uh, which is FedEx, uh, September 2nd. So by at that point you should be able to receive an email as part of the checkout process is that you must provide the your your valid contact number at an email address so you'll receive an email from the fedex dele delivery manager and it looks like this so you just need to click on the on the tracking number so it will direct you to to their site so on this on their site um there <laughs> it actually looks delivered pending because there was um, a couple of hiccups along the way but let me expand the history um, so there it started uh, September September 2 uh, Santa Fe California go, went to Oakland then Arita Japan China and um, and then around September 8 uh, it arrived in the Philippines in Pasay City so up to this point the the delivery process was on time and when one end got into customs there, there were delays on that part because there um there were some necessary clearance or sign offs that must be that the, the package must go through because number one it contains paint so i had to to provide the, the broker with the safety data sheet which i will show you later so um you need to so if you're planning to buy this item and you're from an international country you also need to prepare that um it's actually just read um available in in google so you just need to search for that and um i was able to provide that immediately as soon as what as soon as what asked uh, is what it got required by the broker i immediately provided the file not that i was ready it was just lucky that i when i did the google search i immediately found it um the safety data sheet and there so it reached cebu and just earlier today um september 18 uh, i got a call then um, it was delivered to my home final recap is that the angelus failed to to, come to provide a valid number so my phone number was missing a single digit at the end so initially um the the initial attempt to deliver failed so i had to call them um, ask why it was failed or pending then it was because of the number so i had to provide the the proper the correct number and the day after early in the morning it got delivered to my home so there so going back to our package so but before that uh i'd like to show you the paperwork that were involved because there's a lot of papers here um yep so it included some gate passes this is probably from the customs um some another papers as well um, invoices another thing from fedex as well but yeah uh, probably the highlight here is that there's actually an additional um, payment that must be 
paid you know but at this point you gotta pay what you have to pay so i actually paid um 420 pesos for warehouse processing charge and an individual entry form of 95 pesos so that's around eight dollars fifty cents for the processing charge individual entry form that's around 95 pesos so around two dollars and plus tax so that's a total of around 576 um, pesos so yeah yeah <laughs> that's on top of the payment that i had to you know for the purchase shipping and finally up until it got delivered here so just an fyi if you're really planning to buy something outside you need to be prepared for this one um it actually it was actually quite a shock because uh, i had a purchase of from stock x before and i actually didn't pay like uh, this one here i actually paid the standard shipping fee of 35 dollars and that's it uh, so probably it was taken care of from stock x but it's a separate thing uh, but yeah um additional payment there <laughs> Okay, so I'd like to go on to the actual package. So, reminder, disinfect. So, yeah, I actually already disinfected, but let me disinfect again. So, yeah, so uh, I, when it arrived, I, I after I received it, I wore a mask. Uh, I got this washed in the faucet, so you may see it's it's got some watermarks here. So, but yeah, this is the package. So, it looks a little bit loose. I hope nothing's broken. So they actually smelled a little bit of paint earlier. So let's cut this one here. Hmm. Oh, a little bit messy. Ah, there. So first up, oh, it's a little bit wet, but looks fine. So this is the the paint brush. So I'm not sure if I was the the person who caused this one to get wet but yeah um this is the paint brushes so let, let me put it aside for now um ah uh, yeah this one got wet <laughs> uh, anyways let me put it aside right, so looks the paints are intact so there so this is the matte finisher um fire red oh i hope this is enough well i'm just gonna use the fire red with the the shoe the, the laces part so flat white this is intended for the um the sides but this is the main paint that i really wanted uh there the flat black because i wanted the flat black i wanted to customize uh, so that's a later video uh air jordan 3 so the flat black and the dollar and let's see oh the brush so that's the brush this all the paint kit there let's see so yeah okay that's it for the block there so yeah um i, f I finally cleaned up the wet stuff that was inside the package earlier it was because of the cleaner here uh, you can see the flat spot there um, probably it got it had some heavy stuff um, piled on top of the package and some of it had the water inside and as you can see the the packaging got damaged in the front of the back as well as the there were some uh, smudges in the packaging with the brush the paint brush but you know inside looks fine so it's okay and there is a little bit dirt in the brush as well so you know everything looks fine i'm i'm good with it as long as the paint is fine because this this is more the expensive stuff right there um but yeah um the main question is this purchase worth it yeah number one um maybe one of the comments that i could say is that i hope angelus plays it in the box but to to reduce the damage especially for international international shipping but i do understand if they wanted to you know be environment friendly and all that stuff but good thing that the paint is fine so that's something that needs to be considered moving forward uh, on the end but for me i really wished if they had it in, inside a box but yeah um another thing to consider is the price so the, um, the price total um i i i in philippine peso 
I paid three thousand nine hundred forty. So I had uh, let's deduct the the refund I got because the, the preparer and the glazer was not part of the set. So that's around two hundred eighty four pesos. So three thousand six hundred fifty six. So divided to fifty. So all in all, um, six seventy three dollars. So yeah, um, I think the purchase is still decent as compared if i were to purchase this one here per item because uh if you just see on on, on the shopee and lazada sites this is our uh, this paint here is actually quite expensive so for me i think it's good um i probably will order some stuff in in the future but i might do more searching in the philippines if i could see some local sellers because i, I actually found flat black to be around 600 pesos per item so that's 6 12 18 that's already 2000 pesos for for the street paints here this one was also another 800 and the other set so yeah um there's this also this risk that it's it's not the legit paint that i wanted because i really wanted to have the angelus paints to, to use in my custom so there's that assurance as well so you know it's a matter of preference but yeah um i'll give you another update um when once i get to use this one my beginner custom of my air journal 3 so yeah um I, I hope this video helped and this will give you an idea on how to purchase the angelo starter kit if you're outside of the states okay thanks for watching the video and keep safe always bye